The day this thing was launched in 2007, it completely changed what we knew about supercars. Nissan basically got the supercar rule book and they ripped it apart and they gave us this 3.8 litre V6 twin turbo. Because it's four-wheel drive, it works perfectly as a camera car. So in terms of the versatility of the car, we've built it so it can handle everything from the flight head mini that you see on it now, right down to if you want to load it with 360 degree GoPros, and that means we can add a lot of equipment to it and it doesn't actually interfere with how the car handles too badly. And everything on that car is completely bespoke for it, from flight head mini to the dual black arm that supports the camera and allows it to flex. We had to take all the bodywork off and we've welded and mounted aluminium to the crash structure and that gives it super strong support. Although you can see the camera on the front at the moment, uh, the chaps at Motion Remote who helped me design this thing have made it so we can move from front to back in about 20 minutes. Why did I choose an R35 Nissan GTR? Well, basically, there are so few cars on the market that have the all-round ability that this thing has. It's known for its reliability. It's as fast as most supercars at the moment. It's four-wheel drive, so it works in the wet and the dry. It's sturdy, it's very, very safe. In terms of crew in the car, we have a maximum of four people. So myself driving it, uh, we have a camera operator in the front, uh, a director in the back, and then if needed, a focus puller or our camera tech. So we can have four people maximum when we're moving around, when we're filming. We don't have to wait, we don't have to ask the star car to slow down for us. We just keep up with it, it's just so hard. In terms of its color, you might ask why it looks like it needs a good, a good polish, but actually it's designed to be matte black because that absorbs the light and it doesn't reflect in the car that we're filming. I've been running this thing for six months now. I'm still using the same tyres. It still doesn't need a brake change. You do hear horror stories of how cars of this kind of performance need a lot of upkeep. This has been absolutely fantastic. So I was very privileged when Nissan gave me a call to ask to help create some footage for the launch of the new 2020 GTR Nismo. Because basically this is the only purpose-built camera car that has any chance of keeping up with this new Nismo. Absolute monster. Yeah.